Good morning, friends. How are you today? Today we are going to, on this episode of uh, <gasps> Caffeine Charged Wonderfulness, I'm enjoying my French press and my uh, my French roast. I, it's not a very often, it, it's not a very common thing that I enjoy French roast, but today and uh, the entire week, I, uh, I ground it myself and I'm pretty happy and satisfied with it. Anyway, so welcome, 26 seconds into Coffee and Snakes. I'm going to get right to it because this is a really, really fun and weird thing that I can share with you today at Coffee and Snakes. So, we have snakes. And uh, with snakes, you know, there are a few things that are a reality in our world. One of those things is learning about all sorts of things about how to, you know, feeding and taking care of snakes that, you know, have come to us. You know, because it, they were a handful, or, or too difficult, or, you know, for all of those reasons. Anyway, so you see this huge, huge pile of snake skins. So, so let's talk a little bit about these. I love them, absolutely. Um, so, some of these are actually, like, parts, but then I actually have whole pieces as well. You'll notice that with snake sheds, you can actually see the patterning of the particular snake. And... So far, it has been a common occurrence with us that uh, we receive some pretty beautiful, very whole snake sheds. Um, snake sheds bring luck. Uh, they're a sign of good luck. Uh, you can also use these for art as well as, um, you know, other projects and things as well. We haven't started to sell ours yet, but obviously... We've been doing it long enough to generate a pretty decent little correct collection of full, beautiful, beautiful snake sheds. And when I put my hands over the top of these, you'll see the patterning. Uh, you might actually be able to see the iridescence on some of these areas as well. Just this beautiful iridescent sheen, almost this opalescent. Um, and, and each one of these, yeah, this is a full size. This is our, this is our big girl. This is our Dumeril. Yes, absolutely beautiful and fantastic. Um, a lot of these, uh, with, this, with the corn snake, I'll go ahead and show you the corn snake really quick. I love the fact that uh, a lot of our husbandry is uh, pretty well maintained. I think you, you might be able to see the little rainbowy thing that is happening in these scales if you kind of look close uh, or if my camera can, can do it. But yeah, uh, you want to make sure that when your snake does shed, make sure these little eye cap things, make sure these are intact. Otherwise, you'll have to watch for eye caps on the snake. And when the snake eye caps don't come off, they can begin to create problems like blindness if the snake starts to grow and the eye caps continue to get stuck on there. So these are really important in making sure that your snake is cool and healthy. And, you know, this is one of my beautiful, beautiful corn snakes. Yes. I just think it's just so hilarious that I get the eyeballs and the mouth. I think it's just really, really funny and just cute and adorable. And, you know, that's one of those weird things that, as a snake owner, you kind of have to appreciate. Because, I mean, I think it's just another one of those cool perks about being a snake uh, person. You know, you have all of these things that you learn uh, pretty much, you know, right out of the gate. Because you're dealing with... Number one, wild animals who don't really want to be associated with, you know, other larger creatures because they are a predatory species that like to not get eaten by predators. <gasps> Surprise. <laughs> I know, right? Anyway. Well, I'm in also, I'm going to see if I can find a little shed in here. This is our Hog Island Boa. This is a partial Hog Island Boa shed. What you'll notice here is this is kind of the way they come out of it. This is their mouth area. Uh, when, they sh when these sheds dry up, uh, they, they are, you can actually wet them down and get them, uh, you know, get them a little bit malleable again. But at this point, they are super, super fragile. And they are, like I said, like rice paper. Um, these will come off of the snake. This doesn't necessarily merit the size or the length of this snake. Um, so if you find one of these, you can't just outright say, Oh my gosh, I have a seven foot snake in my backyard. Um, so these will actually get wet and they stretch. They are stretchy. 
So, this is beautiful patterning. You know, folks will actually utilize this stuff. You can find this stuff on Etsy, too. And uh, the sizes, depending on, I know, I know, it's weird for me to actually, like, be talking and, like, be close to the snakes and stuff. But really, I mean, if this didn't kill me when I pulled it out of the cage, it's not going to kill me now. Okay, so. <laughs> anyway, I'm practicing my stuff because because this morning I've I've been doing the the okays and the all abouts and things as well. So um, I love the patterning. Right now I'm going to try to see if I can find a ball python patterning, and I believe this is one of them. Yes, this could potentially be my albino ball python because. With the patterning, you can you can't really see anything. It's belly scales. You see belly scales and upscales. So I am definitely going to equate this one in particular to the ball python. And let me show you there. <clears throat> with the ball pythons, this one is a little bit messed up, but you know, you'll see some of the darker. There you go. And that one could be Manson or Firebee. But anyway, so I don't really do anything with these. Basically, I just pull them out of the cage. I stretch them out on the top of the cage. I put them down, and then I mark them in for inventory. Um, because I really have no one idea what to do with these. Yet, they're somewhat valuable to somebody else. So, uh, just making sure that these are dry and safe and you know a potential I just love the iridescent stuff straight up I just cannot get over the, just the beauty I think I found it I think I got it for you but yeah if you're working with this stuff make sure that you do moisturize so spritz 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 and then that's when you lay the stuff down and then you drop your resin so that's how you create those those patternings and, and all that sort of cool things and I've seen some cool, cool, cool stuff online. Um, but anyway, yeah, what do you do when you love snakes? And, you know, they just keep giving you gifts that just keep on giving. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so uh, it, it's not necessarily a problem. It's definitely more of a surprise and a, uh, an, ins uh, an unsuspecting, uh, you know, benefit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if you are an artist so and these are also used on uh on on nails and things as well so if you are a nail artist you know you take the snip 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 get it wet a little bit make sure that it is you know gets that contact and then you you know you do the thing over the top of it i don't know this is only five minutes of me talking about coffee and snakes but definitely the information is out there on the internet so go and check it out Anyway, without further ado, I want to thank you guys so much for hanging out with me for this brief tutorial on snake sheds that is completely not con complete, uh, but uh, you're going you're gonna to learn a little bit more after watching this, and mostly just, I don't know, I don't know what you're going to learn, you're just going to learn some stuff. Anyway, so thank you very much for joining me, and if you do want more information about snake sheds and what that actually looks like, um, and yeah, they do. Look, I mean, you can tell. I mean, these are a very fragile, fragile thing, so if that was something that you did want to get into, you do have to make sure that you're super, super careful with things. These are not all of the snake sheds that I've pulled out of the enclosure, I assure you. This is just a handful um, so yeah, but make sure that your, make sure that your husbandry is good and you will have all of the snake sheds you could possibly want or need for any craft projects whatsoever. And also so much good luck. Anyway, peace to the world, Nala Jazz. Thank you very much. And, uh, thanks for joining us here at Coffee and Snakes. <laughs>